to the Story of Liberty. This is John Bona. The largest unit of soldiers of the African descent who fought in the American Revolution was the brave Les Chasseurs. They were volunteers from Haiti. This regiment consisted of free men who volunteered for a campaign to capture Savannah from the British in 1779. Their sacrifice reminds us that men of African descent were also present on many other battlefields during the American Revolution. The drummer represents young Henry Christopher, who participated in the October 9, 1779 Battle of Savannah. Christopher later became a leader in the struggle for Haitian independence from the French colony rule. Ending in 1804, a commander of the Haitian army, he became a king of Haiti, being among the first heads of state of African descent in the Western Hemisphere. In the fall of 1779, over 500 chasseur volunteers sailed from St. Dominique, the modern island of Haiti. Soldiers of African descent, les chasseurs, volunteers, left their families, their homes to participate in the Georgian campaign under French commander Charles Henry Estaing. In the Battle of Savannah on October 9, 1779, les chasseurs volunteers from Dominique, our forefathers, fought alongside the American army of General Benjamin Lincoln, distinguishing themselves by their bravery as part of the reserve. They provided cover during the retreat of American and French allies, saving many lives by determining a fierce counterattack of defending British troops. Acknowledging the deeds of Les Chasseurs volunteers at Savannah, American Secretary of State Cordell Hall dedicated a commemorative plaque on April 25, 1944 at the Cathedral in St. Mark, Haiti with these words. Today, we pay tribute to the courage and spirit of those Haitian volunteers who in 1779 risked their lives for the cause of American liberty. Although hundreds of other Chasseur volunteers remain anonymous to this day, a number of them are documented and listed here. We honor all their collective sacrifices, known and unknown. Delay Chasseurs.